Rhea Strand is suing Jessica Comer in the amount of $4,239. Ms. Strand claims Ms. Comer struck her while at their high school reunion and says she was injured as a result. Ms. Comer claims she was just dancing and says she hit the plaintiff by accident. In the matter of Rhea Strand versus Jessica Comer, you're suing for $4,239. You want to, her to pay for the cost of medical bills and additional plastic surgery you say will be required because of an injury the defendant caused you. Tell me what happened. Well, Your Honor, we were at our 10-year high school reunion, and Jessica scratched me in the face with her ring. I believe it was intentional. Okay, so tell me why you believe that. What happened? Well, we knew each other in high school. Um, we've known each other for about 15 years, but she's always been kind of jealous of me and my success, and she was flaunting her, her ring in my face all night, and she literally wanted to shove it in my face, and which ended up happening. Oh, my God. Okay, you're giving me what you believe. So she flaunted her ring in your face, and that's what ended up happening. That's your story? We were Are you on sticking the, to it? <laughs> we were on the dance floor, Your Honor. Oh, okay. You got more to this. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she challenged me to a dance-off mm -hmm. because that's just how she is. She challenges me all the time. And obviously, you accept challenges because you ended up in being in the dance-off, right? Well. So that's how you are, that you accept challenges. Well, this, this reunion that she had planned was kind of a buzzkill, so it needed it something. It was kind of a what? It was kind of a buzzkill. A buzzkill? Buzzkill. Oh, buzzkill. Okay. Mm. Okay. So it was dumb. So we needed to liven up the party a little bit, so she challenged me to a dance-off, and of course I was going to come back at it, and she basically superman right into my face with her ring. Okay. There is an age difference here in case you didn't notice between you and me. Okay? So you need to talk in the language that I understand. Superman right into my face. I don't know what the devil you're talking about. It's a dance move, Your Honor. Okay. Superman right into my face. You want to explain that to me so that I can have some idea of the conduct that we're talking about? So it's a dance move. Yes. And that requires you to do what? Reach out. <laughs> okay. She reached out in front of you. Why are the two of you dancing, reaching out, looking at each other? That's the way you dance, see that? It was a dance off to Soldier Boy, and I will, she shoved her ring in my face during the dance off. So if she just shoved her ring in your face, to me it's like this, I'm shoving it in your face. There was but you're saying that she connected to your face. Yes, there was a gash in my face, Your Honor. So then how did that occur? During the dance-off, I believe that... Okay, show me on Will's face. You, you, you have on a ring? <laughs> no. Okay, Will. Yeah. Using your face. She doesn't have a ring. <laughs> I've all... Show me how her ring connected to your face. Because I'm not picturing it from your from your description. <laughs> Just like that? Mm -hmm. seems... Your Honor, I have pictures. Okay, but I, okay. <laughs> Let me see the pictures. I have pictures as well as... Were you dancing facing each other in this, in this dance up? Or side by side or what? Basically side by side, Your Honor. And it's pictures. just throwing your arms out and doing this kind of stuff? Yes. And her ring connected to your face like this? Yes. There's what a gap on the left of my face. What kind of ring? Uh, just my wedding ring. Come here, let me see. It's so fake. <sighs> it's so fake? She is just extremely jealous, and uh, I'm not sure why. I see. <laughs> and you didn't have one of those, right? I don't have anything to be jealous about with her. I'm I say hoping. you don't have one of those, right? No, Your Honor. Okay. I'm very focused on my business. So why are you so worried about whether it's fake or not? She wanted to rub it in my face. Why are you so worried about whether it's fake or not? I'm not worried about it, Your Honor. Then what was the point of saying it's fake? She wanted to... It sounds to me like you're the one who's jealous. No, Your Honor. Oh, well, the way you keep talking, and the more you open your mouth, that's what you're sounding like. I'm just saying... I just want what is owed to me for my medical bills, oh, yeah, I, for something okay. she, she caused. Because this whole conversation so far, she was jealous, 
Um, this reunion that she planned was a buzz killer. I had to make it live enough. She wanted to show me her ring all night long. At class reunions, 10 years out, isn't that what you do? People get together, you show each other, you talk about what's going on in your lives, you show pictures of the kids, the husband, the boyfriend, the house, the car, you show off your rings, you show off your jewels, isn't that what you do at class reunions? Your Honor, I was just trying Isn't to have a good time. Isn't that what you do at class reunions? Show her off? Yeah, thank you, Norris. Yeah, help me out. Because she doesn't want to say, talk to me, Miss Carmen. Uh, Sounds like to me, you were a little jealous of what was going on because it's been negative, negative, negative. Everything you said about this woman. Speak, Miss Carmen. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I, for starters, um, I didn't do it on purpose. Yes, we were having a dance competition and I was moving my, my arms around and I just grazed her face, which she has then taken liberty to then attack me. Um, you attacked me. Which, excuse me, it's my you turn. It me. is my turn, you've had your you turn. You assaulted me. Sorry. Now you sound like junior high school kids. <laughs> Middle school. No, I didn't, yes you did. You didn't, you did you did Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. Hi, Your Honor. Can you dance enough to show me what, what kind of dancing they were doing? I'll do my best, Your Honor. <laughs> okay, you guys dance with Justice with Judge Maybelline.